Yeah, we don't need to do the whole. Oh, and of course now I'm just all over the place. Hi, hi. I think the camera's working again. For those watching live and those on replay, I will have a link to part one of this live stream. So much fun, but I will have a link to that because you're going to see when I switch the camera over the shimmery background I created and in part one, I show how I made it. So let's just hope my camera is not being a complete stupid nightmare. So hello, everybody. Let's let's. Okay. Mm, that's how this works. So annoyed. Tech is the worst sometimes. <laughs> okay. So anyway, links to all the things as always in the live chat. Link to the visual supply list. Everything's linked below. I just copy and pasted to set up the new live. Yada, yada, yada. Same old, same old. And then part one, when this is done, I'll link to part one in the description box or in the, well, in the description box, but also in the comments below this. Let's, let's just, oh, let's just get back to making fun things. Mm -hmm. And let's just hope that this works. So I got my shimmery background that we made. It's super fun. And then I have the new, this is the Whirl Butterflies die set. That's super, super fun. So I've got that. And we're just going to die cut these from this background. And we're going to do it a couple times. Because like I said, um, let's hope I can make two cards during the live. We'll see. We'll see. It's just been tech issues and stupid crap it never ends anyway let's die cut these so I'll run them through okay let me move all my stuff out of the way okay there we go there we go did this fully die cut Ooh, I think I missed one tiny little spot Dies like this are super intricate. Sometimes you just need to run them through twice. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's just let's just hope my camera decides not to be a complete and total. Uh, words I can say are not appropriate. Anyway. Oh, there we go. It just needs to be cool. Stay cool. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So yeah, when I say intricate, I mean intricate. Because this... Let me get the other one. That is all pierced, like, right through the watercolor paper. That's the style. That's so really pretty. Aren't they pretty? It is. And shimmery. And fabulous. Like I said, we were getting to the fun stuff when the camera froze. <laughs> ah, anyway. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully everybody can find me. It's so annoying when this happens. Let's do this again. Okay. Just gonna do it. Another time. Uh, okay. Let's run this through. Just like so. I remember the software thing. Um, it's it's all sorts of things, especially when it comes. It's it's a combination. There's software, hardware, networking, and power. Networking, power issues. Like there's just it never ends for me, especially. But yes. Going live takes a big chunk of software, tech, processing things, blah, 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 blah. I won't bore everyone with the details. It's great when it works, and when it doesn't, it's really stupidly annoying. Exceptionally frustrating. Mm hmm Especially when you're live and people are waiting and, uh, -uh. So, yeah, we got, look at all these beautiful butterflies. And those fun. So fun. So, got those. I still got some space left on here. I kind of maybe want 
to die cut some of the a couple of the smaller ones like just for the inside of the cards because why not so let's do that so we'll just pop that on there and then we'll just do a little bit more die cutting because like i said why not why not um okay okay Thank you for your persistence. It's just pure stubbornness. Plus I do this as a job. So, which I always forget during lives. I don't know why, depending on when the, where the conversation goes. Um, yeah, I do this as a job. All my links that are posted below the video, as well as because the unpaid intern is, um, he just copies and pastes the links I make up. Um, they're all affiliate links. And all that means is that any of you who click on my links and then end up placing an order, I get a little kickback from that order at no, and no extra cost to you guys. And that's what helps pay the bills and buy all the tech and pay the fees for the software I'm using and yada, 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 yada. Cause yeah, it gets, it gets a, a bit much. And then that's always like therapeutic. Yeah, that gold. Look at it. Look at it. Isn't it amazing? It's so amazing. I'm trying to show it with the light. Can I? There. Oh, there we go. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do one more. One more bar fly and let's do this like gold area again because I really like this gold. Do that. Kind of. That And this is where you'll see the most transfer because, you know, I showed in part one, you know, this isn't really coming off. However, running anything through a die cut machine, you got a lot of pressure. So I've got like transfer on here. I'll just wipe this off. That's about the only time I really notice legit transfer is on my die cut plates which is kind of a nothing burger but i just make a point to clean it off because the next time i go to die cut it'll probably be white cardstock and yeah you know okay here we go just gonna get these bits out of here and then i can just take a cloth and I have a bit of spray alcohol. Add a bit of that. Get out of my way. Spray it. Wipe off any of that transfer, shimmer, whatever. And we're good to go. We're good to go. Everything's everything's fine. Hopefully. Hopefully. Mm. <laughs> Get out of there. There we go. Yeah. All the shimmery bits. Okay, so we got butterflies. Now the one thing that, oh, and then I also have a bit of transfer like in the wafer dye itself, same thing. I'll just take a bit of spray alcohol, spray it right on my cloth and just, and we're good. We're good. So the thing with these butterflies is they don't have bodies. Which isn't the end of the world. You could add just, especially with the smaller ones, you could add a little, a little bit of bling. Just a little doop. But I wanted bodies for these. So I just pulled out, and I used this in a live not too long ago. This is the Whirl Dragonfly. So you get, because Simon has an entire, like, series of Whirl die cuts. There was some greenery. There's been a couple florals, etc. I had the dragonfly that I love, and I've used in a couple videos already. And then we got the butterflies. So I used this guy and I just die cut scraps of black um, cardstock, which I have right there. Thankfully did that before filming. So then I can give these guys little bodies, you know? Yeah. Aren't they cute? So that's the plan is 
of them little bodies. I might need to die cut a couple more, depending. I might I might need a couple more. Where's my pile of scraps? Probably in a drawer. This is why I keep all my scraps, people. Yep, that'll work. That'll do, don't okay. Everybody's getting knocked over. Let's move those. Let's just do this while I'm sitting here. Give me a second more brain to process. I already lost the wafer die. Yada yada yada. Hawkeye. Two. And then we'll just run that through. Okay. That's how many. Yeah, gemstones, little, any sort of little bling will totally work. Like, you don't have to, like, get a second die. But if you already have one, works. Or just leave it. It looks cute as is. I just, I wanted bodies for them. So, get out of the, there we go. Yeah. Gonna do that. I'll do it one more time. So I've got enough. And if I have extras in the end extras i just put it in the packaging with the wafer die and the next time i go to use it they're already done okay so got my little pile of my little pile of butterflies there we go so we got all those Pop that little scrap out of there. Get that out of the way. Okay, so we got that. Card bases. That would help, you know, if you're making a card to actually have card bases. Boop. Or just make the butterflies together. Yeah, well, totally could, you know. I just. I've built it up as a habit now that it's like, I have to finish a card. So I'm going to do a video. I don't know. Maybe eventually, not necessarily on the Sunday ones, I'll start doing lives where we're just going to muck around, you know, make some backgrounds, have some fun. We'll see. I make no promises. My life is chaotic. <laughs> okay. So. You haven't lost nothing. Everything's working just fine. Hmm. Okay. So my card base a2 card it's just unfolded my plan let me get my just yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'll get to that in a minute what we need to do before anything else is we need to add splatter because you know the background can't be plain this is about as clean and simple as I'm going to get because I put the effort into the, the like butterflies, but I'm not going to add a ton other than splatter to the actual card fronts. That's the plan. So we're just going to take a little bit of tape. Um, okay. So we're going to tape the card bases closed because I'm going to splatter to, well, if I could actually get my tape to work. That would help. There we go. So I'll tape them closed so that I can do just the card fronts with splatter, as is tradition. And you know, every time I think I'm going to give up my petty vendetta about splatter, the person who started the vendetta pops out of the woodwork a year later to cause more chaos. <laughs> so it's just been reinforced again. <laughs> Anywho. Hmm. So yeah, splatter with an L because I just, I technically don't care, but at the same time I do. Cause when you come after smaller creators and you act like a jackass, you know, this is the hill I'm going to die on. So, Gonzai Tombi starry colors, as always, my, my go-to here. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to the well, because you got to reactivate it. 
and then those that were watching on part one when I was going on about fan brushes. This is my, my splatter fan brush. You know, my little go-to. This is just a size 2 Zen Royal Magnetical. It's linked in the supplies. This is the one I've been using for um, a very, very uh, long time. And... Be most mercantile, you were there. Yeah, I know, right? I couldn't resist. It was on... For those... Yeah, it was on Kathy Zielski's last live. And the the person who started the absolute insanity decided to pop in the chat and just all over again. And I couldn't, resist. I called it right out. I'm just, I'm done. If you know, I can't like <laughs> constructive feedback is always welcome. I'm fine with it. You know, if I've mispronounced something or if I'm using a term wrong, that's great. You can let me know, especially if I'm mispronouncing something or, you know, whatever it is, that's fine. If you say it with kindness. Now, if you go on a complete and total psychotic mission and you start going after small creators, you're calling names and you're just being a literal donkey about it, all bets are off. My gloves have come off and now it is splatter till the end of time. I don't care. So that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, we got my, my local watercolor and... Yeah, and do it, Kathy. Oh, yeah, that person is blocked. They cannot comment on my channel. They cannot, because I blocked them. I, I won't put up with that crap. But they're still finding ways around on other people's to just be ridiculous, condescending and rude, and it's uncalled for. So, anyhow, we got my my gold mixed up till whatever consistency um, consistency you want. And then we're going to splatter it onto my card front. And regardless of the whole drama pronunciation, spatter, splatter, BS, if you don't like splatter, this, this, this might be shocking, groundbreaking news to you. You don't need to do it. And, and you don't need to leave comments like that you loved what I was making until the splatter was added and then it's hideous or whatever crap you want to say. If you don't like it, it's shocking. Th there's a button that you can press to exit out and stop watching. Follow me for more life advice. Anyway. That was so <laughs> sultry the way you were talking to Mike there. <laughs> sultry oh uh, why <laughs> yes mike gets <laughs> people are gonna see some of this out of context they'd be like what is wrong with this woman hey, look you just did some <laughs> asmr there that's as close as i get Ooh, look at these big splotches i just got i love it i don't get this very often this is what happens when i don't pay enough attention i love it i'm here for it big Big, go big or go home. You know, let's just do it. Anyway, Amy's on a vendetta because she's got issues. And I am petty. I, I own that. I am petty. Queen of pettiness. 100%. I own it. Anyway. And also, those, the, all that to say, when it comes to like hate sweet, all the things. Because I addressed it on my Facebook page the other day. Those that don't follow me, follow me. It's a good time. I bring up a lot of drama sometimes. I am not phased by it, you know, because I, I get people that reach out to me and they're like, I'm so sorry, like, you know, like really wanting to offer support. I appreciate the support. But trust me, you guys, I have a ridiculously thick skin and none of the drama or crap around card making phases me. I just I'm going to call it out. And I do. And in some ways, I do invite it in the sense of I'm just I like to poke the bear. I can't help it. But I would rather people come at me than smaller creators. That's also why I do what I do and say what I say, because... People are adults and it needs to stop. I'm, I'm full stop. You guys, the, the grossness and the, I'm entitled to my opinion. Yeah, you are, but you don't need to spew it on other people's content and they're entitled to block you. So beware and also get blacklisted. Trust me. I have a blacklist. I've addressed this before. I have a blacklist. It gets checked when there are giveaways and the unpaid intern knows to check too. 
Because, yeah, if you want to go say horrible things to me or my friends, you know, I got a fellow card making friends, everything else, you get added to the blacklist because it's funny. People like to say horrible, hateful things and then they enter all my giveaways. <laughs> I'm like, really? You don't think I know? Oh, it's always June, Sharon. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Uh, anyway. Yes, and yes, I can change the settings on lives. I will say 99% of the time, all you guys commenting on the lives, like in the chat, are fine. We haven't felt the need to enforce that. Um, but also, Chris is here to help moderate that and just... Sometimes people get a little out of hand and we just block and move on with our day. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I will say card making, the card making community... Is amazing. 99% of everyone is like amazing and supportive and wonderful and we love it and it's great. It's literally just once in a, you know, every once in a while someone just decides to have a bad day and just word vomit garbage over a free content. So I call it out because sometimes people can get just miserable. Anyway, we're gonna let this dry because it's still a bit wet because I did blobs. <laughs> but it's beautiful. And it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. So these need to dry, which I lost my hardboard already. There we go. Let's put it on this side of the hardboard because otherwise I get my elbow in it. Anyway, that was preachy Amy for, for a bit because things just needed to be said. Uh, there's no such thing as too much kindness truth. And yes, and yes, audacity has no limits. Hundred, hundred percent. Uh, can we arrange for her to win a free therapy giveaway? I Honestly, all of us, if there was ways, I think, because everyone can benefit from therapy. It is wonderful. Everyone needs it. It's sad that it is not easily accessible because everybody needs therapy. You know, it, it, it's so helpful. It's so helpful. Instead, I splatter and I break things. And, and I call it out and I, you know, spew my thoughts on my social media. Because I am entitled to my opinion on my own social media that I poured blood, blood, sweat, and tears into. You know, and those that don't like it, again, you can unfollow. It's fine. Okay. Anyway. Disclaimer about these. These are on pre-order. I wanted to use them anyway because they are fabulous. I said this in, I think, just the last video post. I used them and I'll be using them again and again and again. This is by Kathy Zielski. This was part of the Celebrate release. These sold out in a hot minute. Because they're awesome. You know, who doesn't love Kathy Zielski font choices and this set, which I'll get to later. They're on pre-order because they sold out. People that order them now or in the next however, it says with the listing when they anticipate it'll get back in stock and they'll ship out. Because, you know, Kathy is just the best. So we we all love. I am I am like the the also the queen of the Kathy Zielski fan club. And she knows it because <laughs> I messaged her and I'm like, I love you. You're amazing. Anyway, I die cut. I'm a little bit. This I have linked. Yes, this is one of the little spellbinders trays because people were asking me like, what do you even use those for? Stuff like this. I like having them now for holding my little die cuts and stuff so that they're not falling everywhere. So I did this ahead of time. I didn't have time to stack them ahead of time, sadly. So we're just going to do a little bit of tedious gluing together of the things because um, I need my glue. It would help if I had the glue. There we go. Okay, so we are gonna glue and have you tried putting the small butterfly on top of it? Stay tuned. I actually, I have a video coming. I don't know if it'll go up. I make no promises that I'll get it up today, but it'll probably, at the latest, it'll go up tomorrow using those butterflies in a different way because once I got going with them, um, I couldn't stop. So just stay tuned. I will have another, because yes, you can layer them, die cutting them from different types of cardstocks and things. You get just different looks, you know, you guys know, I like to use things multiple times in multiple ways. And then more often than not end up make, having to make playlists to contain all the videos for them because I, I revisit things over the years. I put way too much glue on this. That was a good job, Amy. So, stay tuned. Subscribe. <laughs> uh,
all the links. Uh, uh, same link. For, I'm not sure what Chris linked to. Whatever he linked to. It's all the same. All the links are all the same between part one and part two of this live. Because uh, we just copy pasted all the things. It's all good. Blarg. Um, yeah, these trays are great. I... I got a couple little packs of them. My only issue right now is I'm not even joking. I have nowhere to put them. Like, I have no, I have no space. It's so bad. But I've been liking them for holding my die cuts. Because, you know, I'm stacking. I've got multiple die cuts. Yada, yada, yada. Like, I can take this one now. And I can put all these guys in here. See? And it keeps them contained. So that's the deeper one. It's a little bit deeper and then this one can be used as a lid like they, they nestle Ooh. and it can be used as a lid did I lose any of my tittles free the tittles we're good <laughs> Give me every time. I knew you weren't expecting it no nope. anyway so yeah it can be used as a lid or they can be used as a, a shallow tray and a deeper tray it's great I love them they're good spell binders comes out with great stuff okay so we got two layers of white cardstock. This top layer I die cut from Simon's matte gold cardstock, which is a favorite of mine. And um, yeah, hence the, the gold added to the shimmery backgrounds and then the gold splatter, you know, gotta, gotta tie it all together. And as far as this little dude, uh, this is a Misty Glue Press. Have it linked in the slides as well. I did do a review of it on my channel like two or three months ago. Um, so yeah, I have an entire review. You can check it out if you missed that in my thoughts, which obviously I like it. For me, it's been working really good. I have noticed, I've talked about this, um, as I'm getting older, but I've had issues specific, more so with my wrists, but also like I'm like pre-arthritic um family history of like horrible arthritis and I have tried for the last two plus decades to avoid you know really aggravating my hands and huh Kathy. oh were your ears burning Kathy <laughs> I was saying very nice things about you I also said I was the queen of your fan club because I am anyone just come at me try to take that that position from me <laughs> uh anyway um yeah I have issues and for me this has worked really well I know speaking of Kathy Z for her she found that this actually aggravated um because you do I will say you do feel it right about here not bad but yeah you know, different tools for different folks. I found for me that this tool is amazing and I love it because I was really starting to struggle with my um, glue bottles and stuff and like pressing. It was really starting to hurt. Like, and Chris knows this. Like there were some days when I would be done work and I'd be like, my hands would just ache. So yeah, I like, I like my Misty. My Misty Glue Press. So, yeah. We've got those layers together. There we go. And then I just use a little pokey tool to kind of swipe out any excess glue. Even though it dries clear, it's not that big of a deal. But just to mo remove the glue goobers. Just got that. Yeah, it totally just kind of depends on the person. Like, even though I do have wrist issues, they're different. And I find that it doesn't aggravate mine. But I could totally see it um, not working for everyone. And then some people are just like, I'm not buying that tool. It's too expensive. That's fine. Like, I can't. No one, no one is forcing you to. Like, like all the things, you know. Just because everyone's using it and everybody loves it or whatever, you know. You don't have to. 
use what works, just use what works for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no! Did it freeze? I'm adding that. But my camera froze again. Oh my god, you guys. Why is this camera being stupid? I want to cry. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do, honestly. I'm trying to think, is there any way to... I'm going to shut it off, and then you unplug it, and then plug it back in, and then I'll turn it back on, and we'll see if that works. That's also part of it. And I say this, like, anyone who wants to get, like, you don't have one, you don't have to live streaming. But anyone who wants to, like, ooh, that freaks me out. Uh, do YouTube videos or anything else. You can do it all from your phone nowadays. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm not doing anything. It's just doing it on its own. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> is, it, is it going in and out? Oh, massively. It's flickering over here too, which makes me think that it's plugged in. Uh, you got, if, yeah, the amount of stuff I have like hooked up here, let's. Okay, it's turned back on. Okay. Um, I moved from the switcher. Down. This is not good. I don't know what's going on. I need to. I'm so frustrated. Um. No, I can't. This can't, like, yeah. When a camera, especially the face down camera, I can't change. Like, the, all this stuff is mounted on and hooked up in ways that you guys cannot even imagine. It's nuts. Okay, let's try one more time. We may have to go to a part three because I just. <clears throat> okay. Give the camera a minute. Okay. Oh, live streaming is so ridiculous. I was, we were doing so good. I do not know why all of a sudden this camera is just being like, nope. Uh, okay. Camera A, let's all sources. Let's see if I can add. And now everything froze. <laughs> oh, actually, it did for a second. The software is just not having it today. Why is it doing this? Oh my goodness, you guys. This is so ridiculous and frustrating. Okay. We're just going to keep playing musical chairs. We'll try it one more time. That happened that one time. Remember that one time that we had to do it in three parts? We got it done. Ah. Oh. Anyway. Yeah, we're going to try one more time i appreciate those that jump around and those that just are like nope she's too chaotic i get it totally get it i understand it so we're going to do the same thing again we're going to end this copy pasta do a part three because <laughs> i have to restart like everything and that usually just kind of kicks the camera enough that it's like oh you mean i'm supposed to be working <sighs> so anyway okay we're, we'll start again and i'll see you guys in about five minutes and then for those watching on replay, etc., the links will be below. All in the here, there, you know, I'll have links to part one, part two, yada, yada, yada. So, anyway, anyway, give me a five minutes. We'll be back. <laughs>